Hi guys and girls, it's Ian Miles here, the executive dating coach for Karma Lifestyles in the UK, in Ireland and the world. Now my lovely people, I am pleased to say that I am back with yet another exciting, action-packed and real-life infield video for you today. Now today, I'm going to demonstrate how to get that success with women and how to create that real attraction with women. Now to be specific however, in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about the concept of humour and the concept of laughter in relation to interacting with women for that very first time. Now you see the million dollar question here is, should we be funny when engaging with women? And if so, how do we pull it off and you know how can we make a girl laugh? So this is what we're going to be talking about what we're going to be focusing on today okay but before we cut to the chase though I just want to remind you that I have released a brand new book on dating a couple of weeks ago you know which I have literally been working on for months upon months on end now the book's called social anxiety a gentleman's ultimate guide and cure for approach anxiety and it basically goes into depth as to you know what approach anxiety really is okay and in this book I will show you the perspectives that will help you to manage manage approach anxiety and that will help you to overcome it too. Now the book also goes on to explain why you shouldn't let difficulties you experience when a cold approaching say beautiful women for the very first time, why you shouldn't let it bring you down and you know demoralize you. Now you see the moment that you have fun with cold approach and the moment that you accept it for what it is, that is the moment that you have it all figured out. Now guys this book really is the holy grail for any guy who wants to increase his confidence and his success around women. So I'd highly recommend it. So definitely click on the link in the video's description right down below to find out more. And you can also click on the card right above and it'll take you directly to the book's page. So anyway, and without further ado, let's watch the infield footage that I prepared and let's see what we can learn from that interaction. So stay tuned. You guys are really Scottish, by the way. Excuse me, why do we love Scottish? Huh? Why do we love Scottish? The friendly vibe, I don't know. My name is Ray White. Really, I, I don't know how that came to me. <laughs> <laughs> it just came out of the blue. Where are you from? We're, we're yeah. from London. All oh, right, you could go on a ferry, yeah, but I suppose you could go on a ferry, but... Yeah, yeah we, you we, can we drive, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the <laughs> Yeah, obviously. Yeah. I was telling some people, and they're like, I told you about the Eurotunnel. <laughs> like, what? No, you're lying. Like, yeah, it was like 30 years ago. Right, Ian. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, if you guys want to give us a text, we can meet you up. We're going to go to... Yeah, you can, you can just... Do you like WhatsApp? Yeah, yeah, I've got He's like, maybe I can message you? Yeah, we'll meet up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't call you like... Bring me on my Where are you? Are you live? It's Ian, it's Ian. <laughs> the, the guy who thought you were Scottish. You like, know. You gave him the good yeah. vibes. <laughs> I was literally just sat there. down, just going, no good, good vibes. No. Sure I was just was chilling. Inter interrogating. <laughs> interrogation. Some guys had a crush on the devil. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. Is your name like, is it like spelled like... <laughs> not so much. Do you want me to spell it? Is it like... Nope. Because I thought it was like, you know, the Irish... Thank you. Zero seven seven. Like, I don't dress like this for school. I don't understand him. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's odd. Like, I know. Maybe we'll see you later nice on, like, Pleasure to meet Mirage you, or something yeah. like that. I enjoyed the conversation. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you liked that and it was a really easy going interaction and the, you know the girl was really cool and she was really laid back and she was a top chick. But what can we learn from this? Well you know, look, one thing that really stood out most here was the fact that you know we were both really having a great time together. Now you can clearly see from that footage that look there was a great connection right from the outset. Okay, and we can also see that the girl was laughing away and she was really enjoying herself in my company. So the key takeaway here from this perspective is not to forget to elicit that humor and elicit that laughter when interacting with new women for the first time. Now you see quite a few of the clients who have signed up to my coaching programs at Karma Lifestyles, they tend to ask me whether they should be funny when interacting with women for the very first time because they feel like look they're just too boring and you know they think that the girl will just lose interest in them as a result and it's you know it's a valid statement I can see where they're coming from because we all know from traditional social programs 
programming that making a girl laugh and making a girl smile is definitely a way to her heart. So should we be funny with women? Is it really that important? And how can we make a girl laugh? Well, you see the answer is not so simple, so let me explain. Now, you should be funny, of course. However, being funny when intimacy is concerned doesn't mean that, you know, you tell her a joke or, you know, you play the role of a clown by, you know, I don't know, showing her a funny dance or a funny move or just doing something silly, no. Being funny comes from your wit and it comes from your energy when you're interacting with her. Okay, so without getting too bogged down by the psychology of it, basically your wit and your display of social intelligence is where your laughter comes from and it will certainly make her grin because you, look, you're essentially, you're stating that obvious. So you're openly stating things which she knows are obvious and she knows are true but may not necessarily be talked about so openly with say strangers. And when these topics are communicated really bluntly and without any sort of doubt this is a really admirable quality and this is what creates that laughter. I suppose there are parallels here with the way in which stand-up comedians operate and in the manner in which they engage an audience to laugh. So how can one train himself to be wittier? Well unfortunately look this isn't something that can be read from a book or even learned from watching say a video. You need to get yourself out there and you need to practice and you really need to practice by being witty and just training that muscle. Now the best way to practice this is by putting yourself into those interactions with women with whom you just don't know. Because you see, when you interact with women from, you know, say a cold approach, you're gonna be so much more alert as you know, you'll feel that there's so much more on the line. Okay, and so keep practicing this until eventually you get into a good conversation that's flowing. And the flow of that conversation really is key because you see, when it flows well, you'll quickly get into that zone where, you know, everything will become so relaxed and so much at peace. And it's really when you're fully relaxed that, you know, you can access that witty side of you and you can fully express yourself and just say what you want. So keep practicing and keep going out and put yourself into those difficult or what might seem like awkward social situations. Now they're not really awkward, it just might seem that way because you haven't done it before, which is completely normal I assure you. Okay, so these are the situations which come about when you cold approach women with whom you don't know. And you will find that the more you do it, you will find that a certain energy within you when you're interacting. And as I've already mentioned, it's this very energy that you express and that you bring to the table that also elicits that laughter within her. Now it really is like you're on a stage and like you're performing because you know, when you're there, when you're in front of her, you can basically express yourself in any way that you like and you can be as creative as you like and you can present yourself in any way that you like. And I suppose, you know, the sheer thought of this and the sheer thought that you are absolutely free to express your true personality that my friends that gives us the energy in the interaction and it gives us that positive energy and it comes from a very authentic place and so as I've already mentioned when someone expresses themselves freely and openly in front of a girl like that it is very admirable and it will make her grin it will make her laugh now she basically has front seats your real personality which you know is a privilege and of course it is very attractive too so you will eventually discover this certain energy and this joy inside of you when you're interacting more and more and you know there is also a transfer of energy going on here too because look human beings are sociable animals and we do rub off against one another and when she finds you speaking to her with that energy about you it's really going to flow through to her too which feels really good now she's gonna feel that absorption of your positive energy which can completely ease any sort of tension in the air you you know, from the fact that you've approached her cold and it's going to feel great for her too. So definitely, you know, work on yourself and keep going out and keep practicing this stuff and find that energy within yourself. And really do try to express yourself when you're there and, you know, learn to just let go of any prejudices that you may have and really do just focus on what you can, on how you can express your true personality and express, you know, who you are. And you see, the beauty is, is that the more you do it, you will also discover more about who you are and, you know, what you can bring to the table in relation to success with women and you will also be able to elicit so much more laughter 
with women who you don't know which is absolutely amazing and look don't get me wrong here you can't always make a girl laugh just like that it doesn't work like that despite of you know how witty or even how confident you think you are that is because you know human interactions by their very nature they're uncertain and we don't know what will happen when two pers different personalities when they meet and you know when they clash for the first time we just don't know so it all comes down to th the, the situation and it comes down to the girl's mood too now when she's in a good mood she's much more likely to find you funny however in addition to her mood you know it also comes down to her personality type too and this isn't something that you know you have control of so don't ever be disgruntled if you know she's not laughing at your jokes or even if she's giving you a stoic face because people have different ways of expressing themselves and it's not always going to pan out like it does just like in the movies now you might have an interaction with a girl which you know starts off very cold so you might immediately think that she's not interested in you but you can't reach this conclusion because you know she just might be shy or she might be introverted and she doesn't know how to communicate her interest to you openly you will find that later on that she's actually you know really interested in you and she wants to take things further I mean look I've had countless interactions with girls where you know they've started giving me a cold and stoic face but then it's actually turned out really well so never ever be disgruntled if you can't make a laugh either it's just not in your control and just accept it for what it is and keep moving forward okay so looking back at the infield footage I showed you earlier just see how Mr. Karma Lifestyles and I are effectively working together when we approach the two girls now he's speaking to the girl that he likes and I'm speaking to girl that I like and you see you know interacting with women with a friend by your side who, who knows exactly what he's doing is a really effective way of meeting new women for the first time now guys just imagine putting yourself into Emre's shoes because you too you could be there with me by your side meeting really gorgeous girls you too could be experiencing that whole process just by you know simply working together on that night so how can we make that happen you may ask well quite simply by signing up to our residential training program you and I we would be going out one-on-one -on -one to the bars to the clubs as well as to the various locations during the daytime too now I will take you out to the hot spots and we will approach women together until you've mastered the ability to do it for yourself as I've mentioned many times before I can't stress how important it is because you see once you see it and once you see how I do it in real life you will get a shift in your reality and you know you will see that it's actually possible to develop relationships with women that you just meet out of the blue now it's really that simple and you know you will also realize that it doesn't matter how you look or how old you are or even how tall you are you know you will realize that it simply doesn't matter now you might have these set beliefs because you know you've never done it before however you know when you actually do it and when you generate those great reactions from women then and this will completely change your perspective on dating and on life too okay so if this is important for you and if you want to prioritize your life and your happiness over everything else then I suggest that you get in touch with me by clicking on the link in the video's description right down below or by clicking on the card right above and it will take you to that residential training page okay so we've sadly once again we've come to the end of yet another infield video at Karma TV but please do put Put your thoughts put your comments and put your insights in the comment section right down below as I'm really keen to see what you think ladies and gents I have many many more exciting and shocking videos coming your way very soon so do stay tuned at Karma TV now I'm Ian Miles and I shall see you next time